up next is the UFC Heavyweight Showdown. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 20 wins, six losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. So. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fight. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? Are you ready? Well, these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jab. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Lee going for the body kick. All right, going for the early takedown, and he gets it. So no surprise, he wanted to get this fight to the ground, and that is certainly a good sign for him moving forward in this fight. He felt as if he had a massive advantage in the grappling and the wrestling. 
he was able to secure that takedown very early in the first round. Swing and a miss by Lee. Oh, collar tie. That elbow got to the target very quick in the clinch. Big punch lands through the middle. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Lee's kick is blocked. up now and now the damage is about to start Lee gets back up again <laughs> 45 seconds to go here in round one <laughs> this might be the biggest shot of this entire fight he lands a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Right under the elbow. Why did he land? Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Going orthodox now. Oh, he switches his stance again. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lots for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. Round two. Strong defense there to block the shot. This fight's gonna be over DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see if he can do it. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? trying to shut the liver down. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. Look at him whipping his hip into that kick. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Just misses with the left hook. Very good. Throws that body kick. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh! Oh, straight right!
Both guys really throwing with authority. Battling for hooks. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Some of the action in that round, DC, there was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. It's a nice kick. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, if oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they... The biggest shot that he's landed I wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiffs on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Nice. Another strike lands there. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. And that one certainly found the target. Oh! Man, he's timed his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Can't take many of those, you better check. Nice jab, falls up with a nice right hand. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. For you. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? <laughs> I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. Are right, you ready? You ready? Let's go, guys, fight. Three minutes remain in the round. Big punch land. Ooh. Just out of the range with that right hand. Come on, let's get some knees in there. That right hand hurt 
him a little bit. Oh, that straight punch is gonna be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's gonna avoid getting hit so many times in the face. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Oh, huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Trying to stay in this fight! Good punch. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Big body to land. strikes here, and if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you it. you got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture, and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on it. Attacking armbar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. He got it. He got a job. How about it? Gets the win by submission. Beautifully executed there on the ground. Right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know, this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergley out there has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 52 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by tap out, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward they needed to not just win, but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks for submissions 